Hello, Skills for School Preschoolers. Welcome back to school today. My hand says hello. My hand says hello. Every time I see my friends, my hand says hello. My hand says salam alaikum. My hand says salam alaikum. Every time I see my friends, my hand says salam alaikum. And hola. My hand says hola. My hand says hola. Every time I see my friends, my hand says hola. And konnichiwa. My hand says konnichiwa. My hand says konnichiwa. Every time I see my friends, my hand says konnichiwa. And ni hao. My hand says ni hao. My hand says ni hao. Every time I see my friends, my hand says ni hao. And salam. My hand says salam. My hand says salam. Every time I see my friends, my hand says salam. And sin chow. My hand says sin chow. My hand says sin chow. Every time I see my friends, my hand says sin chow. Hello, everyone. We really know how to say hello in a lot of languages, don't we? Well, let's see what day it is today. It's on our calendar. And it is still N-O-V-E-M-B-E-R, November. Let's see what day of November it is today. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we had a weekend. This was Saturday. So after six comes number seven. So I made a seven for Saturday. And then yesterday was Sunday. So that's number eight. There's an eight for Sunday. And today is Monday and it's number, what comes after eight? That's right, nine. So I'll make a nine for today. So there we are. Today is Monday, November 9. Can you say that with me? Today is Monday, November 9. That's right. All right, let's get our ABC chart out and we'll sing our ABC song. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Let's do the sounds for the letters that we know. A is a, 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 apple, B is b, 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 bear, C is k, 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 cat, D is d, 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 dog, E is e, 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 elephant, F makes the sound f, 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 fish, G says g, g, g for goat, and here's our new letter today. Does anybody know what that letter is? H. This is letter H. And H makes this sound <laughs> that you hear for hat. H says <laughs> hat. Those are the letters that we've done so far. We're going through that alphabet quickly. Well, today we are going to be talking about a shape. Um, earlier in the year, we talked about rectangle shape when we read the story, I Need a Lunchbox, and we made rectangle shape lunch boxes. And last week we made rectangle shape toothbrushes. 
And if you remember, a rectangle has four sides, two long sides and two short sides. Well, today we're going to learn about another shape that's a lot like a rectangle. It also has one, two, three, four sides. But instead of having two long sides and two short sides, it has one, two, three, four sides that are all the same, the same length. And that shape is called a square. So the book I have today is called What is Square? <clears throat> and in this picture, you can see a lot of squares, can't you? There are little squares inside bigger squares and bigger squares and bigger squares. So we're going to learn about some other things that are square shaped. What is square? Well, that game, that puzzle game is square. It has little squares that go together to make a big square. What is square? A biscuit, a basket. Those are square shaped. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. And a patch on your knee. Sometimes if people get a hole in their clothes, especially sometimes we get holes in the knees of our pants, you can put a little square piece of cloth, a patch, on it to cover it up. So that boy has a patch on his knee. A white sugar cube. Sometimes sugar comes in square shapes that we call a cube because it's squares all around. A sugar cube for a cup, for a square cup of tea. So we have a white sugar cube for a square cup of tea. That's kind of a neat cup, isn't it? Usually cups are kind of round shaped, but I like this square tea cup. A colorful quilt. This is a square quilt. A square in the middle. A cold cube of ice. This is an ice cube and a cube shape is actually made of many squares. So it has squares all over it and we call it a cube because it has many sides of squares. Caramels and crackers are also square shaped. Mmm, yum. Some of the pictures in this book are kind of delicious. A dishcloth. So this is a square dishcloth and it has many, many little squares inside. And dice. Dice are also square shaped. Or actually they're cubes because they're made of many squares on all sides. A window, a waffle. Do you see the tiny squares in the waffle? Those are little squares that the butter will melt into. And look, this piece of butter is also a square shape. Oh, this is one of my favorites. A tin baking pan. That pan is square and so is the bar. Sometimes we call it a bar or a cookie in that pan. Can you find a square button? Of course you can. Which one is the square? Do you see it? I'll put it close to the screen so you can point. That's right. This is the square button. The yellow one in the middle. Nice job. One checkerboard. So the whole board is a square and it has lots of little squares. But the checkers are not squares. Do you know what shape those checkers are? That's right, they're circles. Two alphabet blocks, A and Z. That's what they say. They are square shaped too. A pillow is a square. A puzzle, all around the edge is a square, but the pieces, you know, the windows look like they're squares, but this roof piece, is that a square? 
No, that's a triangle. And the door. Is that a square? It's kind of a rectangle, I think, because these two sides are longer. So we have a rectangle door, square windows, and a triangle roof on this puzzle. But the whole shape of the puzzle, the outside part is a square. A buckle, a box. Those are also squares. And a mirror and a map. More squares. Oh, here's my favorite one of all. A brownie. A piece of brownie. Brownies are very often cut into square shapes. That looks good, doesn't it? And a book. So the outside part of the book is a square. This picture, is that a square? No, it isn't. On the lollipop. A circle, that's right. The lollipop is a circle, but the book is a square. What else is square? Your turn to look. Ooh, look at these things. Some of them are squares and some of them aren't. I'm going to bring the book up close to the screen and you can point to one thing that you think is a square. Oh, maybe I don't want to bring it too close. What do you think is a square? Can you find one? You did. Good job. Good job finding a square. This game is a square. These looks like maybe Lego pieces or dice are square. Cards, this game. These go on a computer square. Clock. And this is a square. And these are squares. Lots of squares. I'm glad you found one. Nice job. Well, today we are going to make a square out of paper. And I'm going to show you how you'll need your scissors for this. So when we take a plain sheet of paper like this, it really isn't quite a square. It's actually, that's right, a rectangle because most pieces of paper have two long sides and two short sides. So we need to turn this into a square where all four sides are the same. So we're going to do that with our scissors. So the first thing you need to do is take one corner of the paper and we're going to fold it up, almost like we're trying to go up to this corner, but we won't go all the way. So we're gonna make a little fold here. Kind of looks a little bit like an ice cream cone, doesn't it? Kind of cone shape, but we're gonna flatten it out here. All right, so you're gonna fold your paper. You might need a little help from a grown-up to do this part. So it looks like this. And then we have this piece right here that we are actually going to cut. So if you see when we folded, we made kind of a line right here. We're going to cut on that line. So I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm going to cut, cut. So I'm just cutting this top piece off of my paper. Cut, 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 cut. Good cutting practice today. And now that I cut this piece off, I'm going to open my paper and I'm going to turn it like this. And now I have a square. I have one, two, three, four sides that are all the same. I don't have two long ones and two short ones. I have four that are the same. So this is my square. And now that you've cut a square, you can paint it with your watercolor paints, color it with your markers, decorate it with stickers, do anything you wanna to do to decorate your square. And if you wanna show me your square, um, you can show me the next time I see you at a meeting, at a Zoom meeting. 
All right, well also this week in your school supply bag, you should have um, a letter H paper for practicing writing letter H. So H is a fun one to make. Most children kind of like to make letter H. So you can take your marker and you're going to make a line down here and next to it a line down here and then a little line right across the middle. So line down, line down, little line across the middle. So you can practice tracing over these letter H's and then on this line here, you can practice making your own letter H's. So H is our letter for this week and practice Practicing writing H is your homework and making a square. So that's all for today. I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.